So this is my uh, DC uh, model train controller. I call it DC because it doesn't have the the, the digital DC stuff that the modern stuff has. Um, let's give you just a quick show us what, it's, what it works with. This is your e-stop switch. You can change the direction of the train to forward. And you get this dial. The whining you can hear is that little motor there that's just started spinning over. The speed controller has uh, a function where it, it gradually winds up, so if I wheel it up really quickly, it flashes until it reaches optimum and gets loud. And then flashes on its way back down again. It might be a bit easier to this. Another example. I dial it up really quickly. You can sort of tell when it's flashing until it meets full speed and stays on constantly. Now, because it's a PWM on a H bridge, as I dial it up, it confuses the um, multimeter a little bit. It's not really sure. Well, it says two and a half volt backwards, but in actual fact, it's of course twelve volt but at a lower duty cycle. I'm going to shut the system down. Um, I laser cut this panel and filled it in with an acrylic paint to get the white highlights. Inside it, there's a mess of wires hooking up to my switches. And uh, um, Freetronics 11, which is their Uno compatible, and their H-Bridge driver. I've used their power over Ethernet and wired it into the voltage in so that the 12 volt supply over here can supply the whole thing. This is just a plug pack from a laptop. It outputs 12 volt and 5 amp, which the trains draw about 0.36 of an amp, so there's a fair bit left over. So, yeah, and it magnets hold it together. And that's my train controller.